with thousands of adoring onlookers, folklore singing, and traditional dance. It might appear this is a music concert, but it isn't. This celebration is a mass wedding organized by Hamas. With more than 450 happy couples to be, the Islamic movement's event has become a popular attraction among the people. It's a message to say that we challenge the siege, that we're stronger than the siege. We're trying to help couples get married because weddings are very expensive because of the blue cake. Each couple is given a cash payment of approximately 500 US dollars, which goes a long way in Gaza. While the event was paid for, organized and attended by some of Hamas's top political leaders, the couples were not just Hamas members, but from various factions. The only flags waving on stage were Palestinian and not party ones. We opened the door to all people without exceptions. This is a unity wedding. Hamas, Fatah and Islamic Jihad couples are getting married. Hamas's popularity has waned since it came into power in 2006. While the political and social movement comes under regular criticism for many of its governing policies in Gaza, it's social events like this and charitable works that help retain Hamas's popularity with many disadvantaged Palestinians, from whom the group draws its traditional base of support. And this year's mass wedding was aimed at helping young men, women and families affected by Israel's war on Gaza. It's a rare occasion for the streets of Gaza to witness the outpouring of such happiness. But for every groom to be behind their joy is a story of personal tragedy. 23-year-old Murad lost a leg in an Israeli attack during its war on Gaza. Since then, he has struggled to cope with his new reality. We suffered a lot after the war, but the people remained steadfast and determined to be happy, to pursue our dreams. Our lives aren't over, and we still have ambitions to get married and to move on with our lives. Moving on with his life meant finishing school and getting married. But in these dire economic times, for a people living under an Israeli-imposed siege, it was a cost he couldn't afford. So when Hamas invited this Fatah supporter to participate in the mass wedding, Murad felt it was an important opportunity, a chance for him and his family at a new beginning, and for Hamas, a chance to win favor with the masses by promoting a little bliss for a people still affected by war. Ayman Mohideen Al-Jazeera, Gaza.